वेलकम टू द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कोर्स ऑन एस पी एस एस स्टेटिस्टिकल पैकेज फॉर सोशल साइंसिस एस पी एस एस इज ए डेटा स्टेटिस्टिकल डेटा एनालिसिस प्रोग्राम एंड इट इज़ ए वेरी पावरफुल प्रोग्राम एज कम्पेयर टू अदर प्रोग्राम्स सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद understanding of data because spss can process many types of data so we will start with understanding of data so i have opened here a blank spss sheet and here i will type type one variable name let it be age so we are in variable view please remember when we open spss the interface at the bottom we see two data two views one is variable view and another is data view at this moment we are in variable view i press tab and now i see that age can be defined as any one type of data so SPSS in SPSS when you define a variable you can define mostly we will be defining the variable as numeric data right numeric variable but there are other types of data as well like you can have a variable which is date type dollar type comma type dot type scientific notation type custom currency type string type so there are many types of data you can pick one of those types so here i picked numeric type and automatically it tells me the width is 8th so the cell can have 8 width but i i want age to be just two character long and there will be no decimal points so i click okay so i can make changes accordingly so here i can type the label age of the respondent and then there are certain values right so uh, uh, this we can leave blank and uh, then there are columns so here we can have and after columns there is alignment you can align the data in the variable as left align right align or center align and then measure is the most interesting thing it is not available easily in microsoft excel so measure means we are measuring this variable as a scale variable ordinal variable and or nominal variable so in this case we are assuming that it is a variable which we are measuring on scale we will talk more about these three data types three measures of the numeric data later for the uh, but for the time being we are taking it as a scale variable so scale variable uh, is the variable which can be plotted on scale so it is uh, like you can have any values in age so it can be 23 24 25 and even we can have 23.3 23.33 23.339 3, so like on scale we when we take values we can take a, a full number or we can take number with the decimal points so our decimal points can be two or three decimal points so numeric data can be either so let us put it this way that numeric data whenever we take a variable in spss by default a new variable is always assumed to be a numeric variable so here we have to change the data type if we have to change the data type what we have to do we have to go here and we have to click here and then we can change the data type to any other data type so about other data types like comma dot scientific notation date dollar custom currency strings we will talk 
about these variables later but a brief discussion of these variables is given here we will talk about these in the coming movies but for the time being we are talking about numeric variable a numeric variable is the variable whose values are numbers right and values are displayed in standard numeric format so we are not representing them in scientific format or any other format right so we are we are just we are just uh, expanding uh, just uh, writing the variable in the standard format but if we have to we can also write it in scientific notation right but if you have to take scientific notation it is a good idea that you take you take scientific notation as a variable type scientific notation as a variable type right but here we are talking of the here we are talking of the numeric variable only so let us summarize it this way that in SPSS data so data is taken as one of the various types data is taken as one of various types so we can have we can have either a numeric data which is by default whenever you enter a variable by default it is taken as numeric variable but we can take the data as other other types as well right which includes which includes the data like scientific notation So it can be scientific notation, it can be a numeric data with currency sign, we can call it a with a dollar sign and we can have a numeric data with commas and we can have numeric data with dots and similarly we can have data a which is a string type of data so for the time being we are talking of numeric data numeric data only later on we will talk about other data types as well so numeric data when we choose then we have to measure the numeric data and we have many options there we learned that we can measure the numeric data as a scale variable so our measure for the numeric data our measure for the numeric data can be a scale measure right for example we take age of the person right we can write the age of person as 23 49 52 something like that okay or we can measure the numeric data as ordinal data right something like we want to make the data groups of people who are up to up to 18 years of age and then from 19 to 28 and then from 29 to 38 and so on so we can have ordinal ordinal measures of the numeric data similarly if we want some of the numeric data can also be represented as nominal data so there are no categories like in ordinal data so for example we can say zero is for pass and one is for fail something like that or we can say zero for male one for female so something like that 
so this will be a nominal data so there is no class which is kind of numerically higher than the other class right it is just the way in which we classify the numeric data right so we can use zero to represent male one to represent female so still we are using numeric data but we are using the nominal measure of the numeric data so first of all when we start learning uh, spss the first thing is we must understand the data type that we are using right so we understand that and then we understand how it works so here we have taken age as a variable and we have taken it as a numeric data type and we have taken to measure it as a scale measure right and then we can go to the data view here we see already the name of the variable appears here we can now we can start entering the values of the uh, age variable right suppose we contacted 10 uh, respondents here we can enter their uh, ages so here we have entered the ages of all the 10 respondents and now we will save the file file save as and uh, on the desktop i have a folder my spss and there i will go and save this file as age dot sav sav is a file extension used for spss files and click save here and you will see that statistics is running some procedures and uh, these are the procedures which are run by stat, uh, SPSS when we uh, do any commands. We are not to worry about it. This is something which is happening behind the scene. You can minimize it or close it. It does not matter. So do you want to save the contents of output viewer? You just say, no, we are not saving that so here we have created a new spss file and entered data here defined a variable age and uh, then we have defined this variable and we have defined we have defined this variable as numeric data and we have measured it as a scale variable